Another big issue in Montana is salt affected sites, sites that are have either naturally or artificially elevated levels of salinity of salts. And one of the big studies here at the Plant Materials Center is looking at different trees and shrubs that can tolerate that salinity. And what you're seeing here is blue leaf honeysuckle. This was kind of a surprise for us. It was quite salt tolerant in our study. Um, did fairly well and this might be a good alternative for farmers and ranchers and landowners to use on salt affected sites. Um, shows good, good salinity and sodicity um, or sodium tolerance. Um, this might be a good uh, option if you were removing Russian olive to go ahead and put something like this in its place. Has good wildlife value for food and cover. Um, it's very easy to establish and uh, um, is very winter hardy here in this part of the world.